what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 82,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And as you guys know, I recently started a Facebook account, so you can add me on Facebook, and we can be Facebook. Facebook friends, so go do that link is in the description. And finally, be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you! But once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today, we are talking about another scary story. And this scary story is called... Inviting the Demons. So, the story of Inviting the Demons is about this guy who didn't really know whether he believes in God or not, but then he decided to find out if God's real by summoning demons. The way he saw this was if he proves that demons are real, then it's going to prove that God is real. So then this guy decided to start screwing about with the occult and all the dark arts and stuff like that and getting involved in all this really, really messed up demonic stuff. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. Inviting the demons. I grew up in a very strict religious household, and as I got older, I began to struggle with my faith in God. When I was a teenager, I became fascinated with the occult. I came to the conclusion that the best way to prove to myself that God existed was to see if demons existed. I began collecting books about witchcraft and demonology. Looking back now, I realize how foolish I was. I didn't understand what I was getting myself into. I began reading these books and actively trying to invite demons in my life. I would read passages from the books out loud, reciting long strings of demonic names. I would draw satanic symbols on the walls and the floor of my bedroom and try to cast summoning spells. The demons didn't come to me all of a sudden. They came gradually, insidiously working their way into my life. I hardly noticed it was happening until it was already too late. I started having horrible nightmares. I would wake up in the middle of the night and hear the sound of faint laughter or whispering. At first, I thought it was just my imagination. Then things started getting much more intense. Sometimes I would wake up paralyzed. Sometimes I would feel my bed moving. And sometimes I would find my sheets lying on the floor. My personality began to change. I was tired all the time. I became angry and irritable. I was distant and withdrawn. My family started to notice all these changes in me and my parents brought me to a psychologist, but he couldn't find anything wrong with me. Late one night, I was awoken by the full moon shining on my face. I felt very strange, as if the world was somehow disjointed, and I was disconnected from it. I felt like I was floating in a vacuum. That's when I looked down and realized that my body was floating above my bed. All of a sudden, I felt something grab me by the feet and start violently shaking me like a rag doll. I was being whipped back and forth. I saw one side of the room and then the other flashing before my eyes. I was terrified. Something was trying to kill me or tear me away from the world. Eventually, whatever it was stopped shaking me and I felt myself being pressed up against the ceiling as if it was trying to crush me. Then suddenly, I was slammed down on the bed. 
I felt something heavy on my chest pressing down on me. It was as if something invisible, some invisible weight was pushing me down and it was getting heavier and heavier. I was paralyzed and I couldn't catch my breath. I remember thinking that this is just a dream. There is no way any of this is happening. Then I heard a sound I will never forget as long as I live. I heard the sound of the bed creaking. I was sinking into the bed and the sound of the bed warping underneath the increasing weight was real. This was really happening. In a frenzy of fear, I burst out of the bed and ran out of the room. I went to my mom's room and woke her up. I was wide-eyed with fear and hyperventilating. She eventually calmed me down and began asking questions. I told her what had happened, but she just laughed it off and told me I could stay the night in her room. The next morning, I knew what I had to do. I went back to my room and gathered up all the occult books and materials. Then I took them outside, dumped them in a metal garbage can and burned them. I cleaned all the symbols off my bedroom walls and I never slept in that room again. Nothing like that ever happened to me again. I think whatever demonic force it was had their one chance but they failed and they never bothered me again. So, do I believe in God now? I, I'm still not sure, but I do know that there are malicious, evil entities in this world, and if you invite them into your life, they will gladly come. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. It was very, very creepy. And I don't know if this is true or not. It doesn't actually say, but I know that it, it could possibly be true. And I know that there is a lot of people out there who are curious. I mean, I'm curious. I'm one of them. Um, I've tested out some things like that before, you know, like rituals and different types of spells. And it's never personally worked for me but you never know like people try with these things they fool about with things that they really don't know what they're fooling about with and i mean i'm just i'm stupid like i'm the curious type i i want to find answers even though i know that there could be severe consequences um i am pretty like you know pretty stupid like that i i don't really think it's gonna happen and then if it does happen one day I'm in big trouble. But I'm pretty sure we've all been curious about these things, like religion especially. Like, there's a lot of controversy around religion. Um, and some people say, oh, I believe in God. Some people say, I don't believe in God. And obviously, we all want to know the answer to that. We all want to know if there's a God up there. That's something that, I mean, it's easy saying, like, God doesn't exist. Well, how do you know? You don't know that. It's just like saying God does exist. You don't know that. But it's all about believing. It's what you believe. And if you believe in God, that's cool. If you don't believe in God, that's cool. I mean, I'm not the type of person that's going to say, you have to believe in God. It's whatever, you know, like if you believe in God, that's cool. But I would never turn around and say to somebody, God's not real. And I would never turn around and to say, to say to somebody, God is real because I don't know. But we are all curious about these things. And um, as some people claim to have had experiences with like God and Jesus and you know stuff like that and uh, it's the same with these religious things like some people claim to have I'm um, not religious these occult things like some people believe to have had experiences with the devil some people have had experiences with demons and I don't know man I don't know but if you are one of those people who is a very curious person and is very interested in like the paranormal kind of like me be very careful out there uh, don't do anything that's gonna get yourself killed or anything like that um, just make sure you are protected like that's one thing I always do if I'm doing something like this I will make sure that I'm protected even if you have to just say a prayer or have like some holy water or have a crucifix I know I don't know it just depends like I said it all depends on what you believe but my question to all of you guys for question of the day is do you think that demons and stuff like are real like do you think like because we all search for like the paranormal answer like is it real 
We all search for that. But if they are able to be summoned so easily, why do we not have that much proof? Like, why is it not that common to see like in the newspapers man summons demon and then dies or it, you never see that you never see that so like you, we see it online but with everything the way it is nowadays it's just like anything could be faked so it's weird it's really weird but my question to all of you for question of the day is do you believe that you can summon demons and stuff like that into your life do you believe it? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please slap a like on it. Let's see if we can go for 27 billion likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys didn't see my previous video, which is about a man who filmed himself being dragged to hell, literally dragged to hell. If you guys didn't see that, click on the, when the outro comes on, click on right about here. It will take you over to that. And if you guys just want to watch a random video, click this side and it will take you over to that too. But remember the most important thing of all guys, chase your dreams. I love you all. Don't let anybody bring you down and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video. Peace out.